Hi guys, welcome to the second part of this PC build. So the first thing we're going to talk about is how to plug the CPU onto the motherboard. The first thing we are going to do is plug the CPU onto the motherboard. It's the start of every PC build process. The CPU I'm using is Ryzen 5 3600 from AMD, which can only plug into the AM4 slot motherboard. The motherboard I'm using here is Asus. Rock Strix Strixi X570F motherboard, which is a high-end motherboard. You can choose to buy the 400 series motherboard for AMD, such as B450 or X470. They will normally work in with Ryzen 3000 series, but you might need to update the BIOS for those motherboards to able to use in Ryzen 3000 series CPU on them. Remember, there are also different slots for Intel CPUs, which is another company. So before you buy a CPU, you need to choose between the two companies, Intel CPU or AMD CPU. They are the only two options for consumer market. If you have a Ryzen CPU, include all the 1000 series, 2000 series, and 3000 series. You can follow my tutorial to learn how to plug your Ryzen CPU onto the motherboard because they are also all using the same slots, AM4 slots, motherboard. So first, you can notice there is an iron rod beside the CPU slots. You can just pull in a rod out from the slots a little bit, a little bit out, and then lift it up to a 90 degrees angle with the motherboard. Second step, you can notice there is a small triangle, which is a gold color in the bottom left corner of the CPU. You will find a similar size triangle on the slots. When you plug the CPU, you first make those two triangle alignment to each other, and then carefully release your hands to allow the CPU to drop into the slots. If CPU do not drop into the slots, you may adjust the position of the CPU to make sure that each stitch on the CPU are just right above the little holes inside the slots. There will be like around a, a thousand stitches on each CPU. So you have to be patient until your CPU are able to drop into the slot. After all above, you can just the, put the iron rod towards its original position. Be carefully to pushing it back towards the motherboard and then it will lock the position of the CPU. So that's all of how to plug the Ryzen CPU onto the motherboard. Be aware this is not the same method for other CPUs from Intel or AM3 service CPU. So you may have to search on YouTube for the tutorials of how to plug your CPU into the slot. So this is the second part of uh, how to do in the thermal paste and fence now. So when you apply a CPU cooler and a fence, the first step is you have to flip the motherboard upside down. So in here, in the back of the motherboard, you will see a base like this in the position of the CPU. So which is scrolled back, scrolled in the back of the motherboard. There is four score in here, as you can see. So you need to take this off by using the scroll drivers. Then you have to open a cooler box and you will find a similar shaped components. Like this one here. So score is components in the position where the original base is applied. Then flip, flip, flip back the motherboard to the front side. If in this step, you may need to check out the instruction sheet for CPU coolers. Like some CPU cooler, like my one, need to scroll some actual scrolls in the front side, but some some doesn't. So you don't uh, have to look at what I'm going to do in here. Just follow the instruction sheet in your CPU cooler boxes. Now after you have applied the base on, 
don't rush in. We need then apply the thermal paste before we put the CPU cooler. You can apply the thermal paste in a shape of X onto the CPU. As you can see here. So be careful to scratch your paste out so it won't go anywhere. Then you can just put the CPU cooler onto the CPU. Remember, you only have one time to do this because you already applied a thermal compound. After that, you have to tighten the full scroll in the four directions. But you have to do this in a di diagonal shape. So it will be one, three, two, four. The scroll, you have to tighten as much as possible because you don't want left any space between the CPU cooler and the CPU. Otherwise, you would have a taste of about what's feel is like 100 degrees when starting the computer. So, which is what I did wrong in the first time. Okay, now you had applied CPU cooler and the thermal paste. The next thing we're gonna talk about is how to put this motherboard into your PC case.